We are now in the second week of fourth quarter and I cannot contain my excitement for you. Congratulations because you have reached this far. Just continue studying and working hard and everything will pay off. Believe me. So, let's get started. and I'm here to help you in this learning journey. Are you ready to learn? Before we start, make sure that you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module ready. At the end of our lesson, you were expected to give the meaning and purpose of operational and technical definitions in research. Interpret technical and operational definition and identify the difference between technical definition and operational definition. We have learned in a previous lesson that research is a systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. With this, technical and operational definitions have a big contribution to help researchers in conducting their study. There are two types of definition, the technical definition and operational definition. Technical definition mostly refers to the aspect of explaining or describing any technical terms or terminology. Technical definitions could be used in expanding the vocabulary since most of these terms are explained in the exact manner. There are two types of technical definitions parenthetical definition and sentence definition. Parenthetical definition is defining a term by using more familiar synonym in parenthesis. For example, the company's recent history is a case study or report in bad management. The book provides a general framework or outline for understanding modern politics. Sentence definition, on the other hand, follows a set pattern. More complex terms are used. For example, statistics is a branch of mathematics dealing with the collection, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of masses of numerical data. Deductive reasoning is a form of reasoning in which conclusions are formulated about particulars from general or universal premises. Take a look at the table on the board. As you can see, we have three columns. Under the first column, we have term. On the second column, we have class. On the third column, we have characteristics. The first word that we tried to define is statistics. Under class, we have branch of mathematics. Under characteristics, we have dealing with a collection, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of masses of numerical data. Here are the guidelines for writing technical definitions. One, be accurate. Use precise terms. For example, Data is an information in digital form that can be transmitted or processed. This is a weak definition. Data are the quantities, characters, or symbols on which operations are performed by a computer, being stored and transmitted in the form of electrical signals and recorded on magnetic, optical, or mechanical recording media. This is an accurate and precise definition. Two. Be objective. Use facts, not opinion. For example, a questionnaire is not valid and reliable for the study. This is an opinionated definition. A questionnaire is a set of printed or written questions with a choice of answers devised for the purpose of a survey or statistical study. This is a factual definition. 3. Grade your language. 
match it to the knowledge level of your readers. For example, research is a systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. This is a complex and complicated definition. Research is collecting of information about a particular subject. This is a simple and clear definition. The second type of definition is operational definition. Operational definition is more on the application of the word. For example, these may include the various attempts to define or explain a certain process and its properties, including but not limited to the characteristics of the event itself. An operational definition gives an obvious, precise, and communicable meaning to a concept that is used to ensure comprehensive knowledge of the idea by specifying how the idea is measured and applied within a particular set of circumstances. There are three types of operational definition. One, type A operational definition can be constructed in terms of the operations performed to cause the phenomenon to occur. For example, fear is a state produced by exposing an individual to an object highest in his or her hierarchy of objects to be avoided. Conflict is a state produced by placing two or more individuals in a situation where each has the same goal but only one can obtain it. Two. Type B operational definition. It can be constructed in terms of how the particular object or thing operates. For example, monitor is a television receiver used in a studio to select or verify the picture being broadcast from a particular camera. Keyboard is a set of keys on the piano or similar musical instrument. Three. Type C operational definition. It can be constructed in terms of what an object or phenomenon looks like. For example, introversion is the tendency or characteristic of an individual to prefer to engage in solitary rather than group activities. Team teaching is a utilization of two or more teachers to develop lesson plans and teach in one or more subject matter areas to a fixed group of students. What is the difference between technical definition and operational definition? Let's take a look at the table on the board. If we define the word computer using technical definition, it means it is a device or machine used in performing, assessing, evaluating, and following commands set by the users. If we define the term computer using operational definition, it means it is something used in doing homework or browsing the internet. If we define the word data using technical definition, it means information in digital form that can be transmitted or processed. If we define the word data using operational definition, it means the quantities, characters, or symbols on which operations are performed by a computer being stored and transmitted in the form of electrical signals and recorded on magnetic, optical, or mechanical recording media. There you have it, the technical definition and operational definition. Did you understand the lesson? Now let's have a short exercise. Identify the terminology that is being described in each number. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. 1. What type of definition states or describes exactly the nature, scope, or meaning of something? A. Technical definition B. Operational definition C. Sentence definition D. Extended definition Two. What is the meaning of operational definition? A. It follows a set pattern. More complex terms are used. B. It is defining a term by using more familiar synonym in parentheses. C. It states or describes exactly the nature, scope, or meaning of something. 
D. It gives an obvious, precise, and communicable meaning by specifying how the idea is measured and applied within a particular set of circumstances. Three, which of the following is not a guideline for writing technical definitions? A, be accurate, use precise terms. B, be objective, use facts, not opinions. C, use your personal experiences in writing the definition. D, grade your language, match the knowledge level of your readers. Four, what type of operational definition can be constructed in terms of how the particular object or thing operates? A, type A operational definition. B, type B operational definition. C, type C operational definition. D, none of the above. Five, what is differentiating characteristics used in a given sentence? Bus is a large motor vehicle carrying passengers by road. A, bus. B, motor. C, vehicle. D, carrying passengers by road. So, how did you fare in your exercise? Your performance task will be uploaded in our Google Classroom. So, I hope you learned something from our discussion today. I hope to see you again in our next video lesson. To get notified of the new video lessons, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. Bye everyone! Thanks for watching!